today we are going to be doing some unit reviews. I've had you guys send me some of your UIDs through my Discord server, which you can check out in the link in the description below. I will also leave a pinned comment if you are interested in it. And what we are going to do with them is I'm just going to review some of your best character builds. Let's get right into the video. First up, we have Vion T, and they want to show me their Yon Fae. So level 90 Yon Fae here. Let's see. 2,000 attack, that's pretty nuts if I'm being honest. 2,000 attack, Yon Fei. I mean, it makes sense, you are level 90. I'm expecting like a Skyward Atlas here. Yep, Skyward Atlas, I was correct. That makes sense for that high attack stat. R1, that's perfectly fine. I believe Four Piece Wanderers is Yon Fei's best in slot, so that's what we like to see. Constellation, six, sheesh. And talents are triple, a triple crowned Yon Fei. Off the bat, wow. You don't see that very often. You don't see that very often. Let's check these artifacts. Let's see how good your Yanfei is. Well, first, let's check the artifact details. So, 63 crit rate from artifacts alone. Keep in mind, so the hat is going to give you 32. So, that means they have about an extra base 31 crit rate on top of whatever their circlet is. That is not. From just sub stats alone, that is really good. All right, let's start with the feather. That is nuts. I mean, the flat HP, unfortunate. If this didn't roll flat HP, oh, this would be a nuts piece. It's still really, really good, though. And I think EM is also good on Yanfei, so that's not even like it's a wasted stat either. This piece is really nice. The defense and HP, again, kind of ruin it. Um, but it's still a good piece nonetheless. Crit rate, crit damage, rolled twice in a crit rate. Let's check the sands. This is a onset sands. Um, I'll be honest, this one's a little niche. Uh, yeah, you really missed the good two stats here. But what are you going to do, right? Like, it, it, it is what it is. It's a little unfortunate, but it's still a good sand. For being on set, you can't really roast it, right? Because it's still an on set sand, and if you don't have anything better... Like, I, I this is probably better than any Pyro Damage Cup on my whole account, because they're hard to come by. And, um, this piece is pretty good, actually. I was about to say this is niche, but it's actually not. You got some attack, you got some crit damage, and HP, some flat attack. And then last but not least, let's see the flower. Again, our... This is a solid, solid piece. Every single stat here matters for Yonfei. This is a perfect Yonfei piece. Unfortunately, you low rolled crit damage a couple times, but overall a good piece. Let's see your stats. 68, 116. Um, it's a little low, but for the fact you're running Skyward Atlas, it's actually not that bad. And Yonfei, keep this in mind, she doesn't ascend with any crit stats. So this is actually pretty good. 100% um, energy recharge. That means you don't have any energy recharge on her. Um, so I don't think Yanfei needs that much energy recharge, so I think you're fine, but I still think like 110 or 120 is probably pretty good. So you might want a few energy recharge substats. Don't call me on that though. I don't play Yanfei, so I wouldn't know. 70% um, pyro damage bonus. Yeah, a really, really good Yanfei. Overall, I give this Yanfei perfect for Constellation, perfect talent, perfect weapon. Obviously, could it be R5, but not everybody can whale. And all near perfect artifacts. This Yanfei is definitely, we're going to say it's a 9.5 out of 10. On to the next unit. Next up, we have Ruzi, and we're going to review their Lisa. The reason we're on the uh, Anka network is because not everybody is on the NA server, so we just come over here to review people on EU and Asia servers. So let's see here. Lisa. I don't see many Lisas built. So this is going to be a quirky one, to say the least. So you have no constellations on her. I mean, obviously, Lisa heart constellations are hard to come by. Mine is actually C3. I got really lucky with my Lisa constellation. But um, it's a bit unfortunate that you didn't. But don't roll in the standard banner just to get constellations. That is a waste of time. So we're not going to worry about that. Constellations are a, a minimal factor because it's, it's really a whale thing. Um, talents are 8, 8, 5. You're clearly using Lisa as like a, a DPS unit instead of for like the defense shred with her burst. You're more using Lisa just to do big, big damage. Obviously, as much damage as a Lisa can do because it's a, a Lisa. Um almost 2000 attack that's really good that's a that is a r1 lost prayer which has six way base attack which is really nice plus 33 percent crit rate which is really really nice as well 96 em is a little nice touch on top a little cherry um 55 crit rate 172 crit damage not too shabby 126 recharge um i think lisa may need a bit more recharge but if you're not worried about her burst i don't think it matters too much because you're mainly using lisa as like a, a dps anyways i can tell because of the the level eight talent normal attack I'll be honest, 55 is a little low on crit rate. Like, you really want to balance this out. Like, maybe do, like, um, 70, 160 if you're able to balance it out. But overall, it's not that bad. This first piece is really nice. This is a very, very nice piece. This would be a perfect piece if it had, like, uh, EM or energy recharge here. But it rolled twice in crit damage, once in crit rate. Good stuff. 
Um, this piece really, really solid as well. Two crit damage rolls, two attack rolls, um, one flat HP. Unfortunate. What are you going to do? You don't have too many wasted stats on this build, though. I can tell. You got only got a few flat HP, a few flat defense. You do have flat HP on three separate pieces and flat defense on three separate pieces. So it may not be the best thing ever, but it's still not bad. Um, this attack percent piece, I'll be honest, is a little bit niche. I think you could probably do better here with this piece. If you want, you could always go to Shimanawa on Lisa too. Because I see you have a, a, another Shimanawa piece for her uh, circlet. Yeah, electro damage bonus is good. But plus 18 attack percent is nothing to laugh at, right? So if you wanted, if you have a better attack percent piece or a better electro goblet. Because I see, you can see this one. This, I'll be honest, this one is pretty bad. This is a pretty, bitty, pretty, this is a pretty bad piece. Yes, it's on set. But you have flat HP, flat defense, HP percent, and you didn't roll once in an energy. So if you if you want, you can swap off one of these pieces. Let's say this piece. You put this attack percent piece on a Shimanawa one. And then you just swap off this electro damage bonus. And you use whichever the best one you have is. And your Lisa will look really, really good. And your, your Lisa already looks pretty good as it is. So you don't have too much to worry about. Overall, I say this Lisa is at least a 8 out of 10. Next up, we have Alex, and they want me to rate their Eula. Let's see here. 1800 attack? Uh, let's see the weapon. Uh, ooh, Snow Tomb Star Silver. R2. You know, if you're really Eula main, you'd R5 this. Uh, that, I mean, uh, you may not just have the Claymore mats, but... I think this is Eula's best free... No, Serpent Spine. Well, that's not free to play. I was going to say Serpent Spine is, like, the best free to play weapon. But, obviously, it's Battle Pass. Um, I think it's a Snow Tomb Star Silver. It looks really good with her. And has physical damage bonus, so it's definitely not anything to laugh at. Um, two piece pale flame, you're missing a bloodstained piece, which is a little unfortunate. Constellation zero, talents are eight, six, ten on the burst. That is what we like to see. This is a Eula main, you can tell here. So let's see artifact details. So you have 53 101, that is that's pretty good. I mean, you do get 60 crit rate, so this is like a uh, 53 times 2 is 106, and then 106 plus 101 is 207. So that's a 207 crit value build, which is pretty good nonetheless. Let's check these pieces, though. Let's see what we're working with. Obviously, you have no crit style on this, and I don't think Eula ascends with crit. So you're going to have to have some really solid pieces here. Ooh, this is a nice piece. Good on you, my friend. Damn, that's a good piece. That is three crit damage rolls. High rolls, too, I'd like to add on. Two attack percent rolls. And then not once in the flat defense, not once in any... Wow, that is a good piece. That is a 10 out of 10 piece. Obviously, you know, if it had more crit damage, it'd be better. But still, that is a good piece. I do notice that you are missing the two bloodstain, though. So maybe you're not... You can't find a better bloodstain piece for her, which is okay. Um... You got almost 30 crit damage on this piece. This is like another really good piece. That is, is that a four crit damage rolls? I think that's four crit damage rolls. It's just they all low rolled. Oh no. Yeah, that looks like three crit damage rolls, but I think it's actually four. The feather? Um, this feather, eh, I mean, it's it's two min rolls crit rate and then like a two mid rolls crit damage. Not the best piece I've ever seen, but still not bad. It's better than any pale flame piece on my account. Um, this sands for being an off piece, it's honestly not that good. It min rolled crit rate twice and then mid rolled crit damage. So I honestly, I mean, if you want to use two Shimanawa, you can. Like if you replace this piece for a Shimanawa, you could do that. But you're probably just waiting until you get a better bloodstained piece. So this piece isn't bad. This piece is really nice. This is a really, really good piece. You should keep this piece on your Lila unless you have an on set one. That is one crit damage roll, one crit rate, two energy recharge. This is a perfect looking piece. And the crit damage and crit rate rolls were high rolled as well. That is a very, very solid piece. Let's see here Eula's stats. 58, 189. A little low on the crit rate. A little bit low on the crit rate. I would personally go for 70 or 60 if you're able to get that. Maybe just sub out some of those crit damage stats for some crit rate stats if you have them in your account. And then 122 recharge, not bad at all. Um... Obviously, Snow Tomb Star Sailor is never going to be the greatest weapon for her. And I think there are better options for free plays, if I'm not mistaken. Like, um, according to Paimon.moe, which is just a site I use generally for all my um, information for Genshin, I, I find it pretty accurate. And they actually give details on everything and where it places in the rankings. So, as you'll see here, Snow Tomb Star Sailor is actually 12th in the rankings here. This is just from the source I go on. Um, you might have different sources that say otherwise. 
but considering it, it, this on Eula is at number 12, and, like, you have some better options here. Like, Luxurious Sea Lord was free from an event. Um, Uncle Maru, um, that's kind of more difficult to get. Black Cliff Slasher, you can get from the uh, Star Glitter Shop. Prototype Archaic, you can craft. So you have a lot, a lot of good options here. In fact, you could have crafted a Prototype Archaic st instead. So I'd go, if you if you have Luxurious Sea Lord, I'd use that. I actually use that on my Eula for a little bit to get that big burst damage off with Eula. It's very, very nice. But, um, your Rock and Stone Tomb Star Silver, which isn't a terrible weapon, it still gives some physical damage bonus, and it looks good with her. So overall, I say this Eula is probably a solid 7 out of 10. Just some minor tweaking, like getting that crit rate up a little bit. Um, maybe improving some of these talents, like, um, 6 is a little low for her E. Obviously her E isn't the most important thing, but I still pump that up just a little bit. But definitely a good Eula. Okay, next up, we have Lee. Is that an Among Us emote? Oh no. And they want me to look at their Noel. Okay, Lee, let's look at your Noel. 1300 attack, not too bad. 2000 defense, I think that's pretty good actually. What's your weapon? Redhorn Stone Thresher. This is a main DPS Noel. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a cool build. You don't see these very often. Your crit stats must be off the charts with a weapon like this. Artifacts four piece husk. I think that is her best in slot if you are trying to make her into a main DPS. Constellation six. Oh no. 10, 12, 13. Double crown Noel. This is not something you see every day. I think Redhorn Stone Thresher is her best in slot weapon, if I'm not mistaken. And you have perfect constellations and you have near perfect talents. Obviously, her E isn't as important when you're building her as a main DPS. Honestly, I wouldn't even take her E past six. But for just, you know, the flex, right? You want it for the flex. For just that one additional constellation to get that perfect 10 out of 10 rating. Let's check artifacts now. So we'll start with the flower. Good. Oh my gosh. That's a perfect piece. That is a near perfect piece. Wow. You, if that energy recharge roll went into crit rate or crit damage, that was a perfect piece. Defense percent? Awesome. This is a god piece right here. Hold on to that piece. Again, I, almost another perfect piece. Obviously, attack percent isn't as beneficial with Noel as defense percentage is, but it's still a good piece. Something I did realize about this piece, though, is that I miss crit rate and crit damage every single time. So I actually can't give this too much praise. If this is probably like a, a 6 out of 10 piece, if we're being honest. It's not, it's not bad, but like... You miss crit rate and crit damage every time, even though they're max rolls, which is still nice. But yeah, this is bro, this is such a sad piece, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened to you. Um, next up, let's look at the defense percent piece. Okay, a bit of energy recharge, a bit of crit damage. Um, attack percent, good, good piece. Not a bad piece by any means. You missed HP percent every time, which is very, very nice. Again, you have near perfect stats here. Actually, I think this is perfect stats. Like, in terms of, like, the four subsets you can get, this is probably perfect. Um, it's just getting maybe a four, few more crit damage rolls, and then maybe this replacing this HP percent for crit rate, obviously, would have been beneficial. This is a near-perfect piece as well. Wow, you have some good pieces on your Noel. You clearly, clearly you appreciate your Noel. That is two crit rate rolls, two crit damage rolls, one attack percent roll. The crit damage low rolled, but still, you can't talk crap about it. That's, that's four crit rolls. And, ooh. Yeah, this piece is a little, uh... Ugh. Okay, I mean, you got some defense, you got some energy recharge. Not too bad. Let's check your artifact details. Um, 52, 66, that's, rude. that's pretty good, actually. Let's check your subsets. Woo! Baby, that's 57, two, that's a 204 build. 204 crit damage. Um, your crit rate is a little low, though. You're definitely not splitting even there. You could probably squeeze a little more crit rate just out of some of these pieces, like... I would prioritize crit rate on this defense percent piece over crit damage. Obviously, getting some crit damage on here could be beneficial too, and getting rid of that flat HP set. Um, I would honestly sub out this feather if you have anything better, which is just a little more crit rate. Honestly, if you got like two crit rate rolls on a feather, I'd probably sub it out just to make your split more even, so you're critting more. But overall, your Noel is, is really, really solid. Yeah, 57, 204, not too bad at all. This is definitely a 9 out of 10 Noel. Let's move on to the next unit. Next up, we have Armoretta, who is from the Discord server, and they want me to review their Gone U. Let's check out this Gone U. So we got Aqua Simmer Lacra, and we have. Oh, wow, ha, ha, I just looked at that crit stat. No spoilers yet, though. Uh, ten on the 
on the charge shot. That's really good. Uh, six on the E, seven on the burst. Clearly using Ganyu as a main DPS if you're prioritizing her charge shot that much. Very, very good choice. You got 1600 attack. And you got, I think, Aqua Simulacra is actually not her best in slot, but definitely one of them. 124 EM is a little nice touch. 54 crit rate and 279 crit damage is absolutely nuts. 105 energy recharge. I don't think energy recharge matters on Ganyu. Um, cry damage bonus is 46%. And you're using four Wanderers, which is her best in slot if you're using her for those charge shots. Let's check these pieces. So your crit rate hat, um, 20 crit damage, um, some HP, some EM. Uh, yeah, definitely not bad at all. Um, you got a cryo cup here with 9% crit rate. Um, uh, these other stats are pretty terrible, I won't lie. I have definitely use an off piece if you have one. Yeah, so definitely try to optimize that cup a little bit. The two crit rate rolls, you know, and the three wasted stats aren't the best thing ever. Um, this piece is nuts. Oh my gosh, that is uh, 32 crit damage right there. Ah, damn, man, that is a nice solid piece. Very good piece here. Yeah, this is this is a keeper. This is a keeper. No crit rate, and I'm be honest, the other three stats are wasted. So it's not the best thing ever, but by no means it is a bad piece. Um, this piece is a little bit niche. I mean, two flat defense rolls. Something that I've noticed is that you have flat defense on every single piece, which is unfortunate. What are you going to do about that? Artifact RNG is artifact. Um, and then your f f wow. <laughs> that flower is Benny. What what is that? I think that's six times two. Oh, that's a 42 crit value piece. Oh my gosh, that's better than any flower on my whole account, and that hurts to say. That hurts to say, man. Oh my gosh, that is a nuts piece. Plus the energy recharge roll on top of that. Damn, that's a good piece. Um, obviously the only thing I would I would critique about this build is. I think, I won't lie, I think Ammo's bows are best in slot. So if you have it, I'd use it instead. Obviously, it makes this crit damage look a lot nicer when you bump it up that much. But yeah, Aqua Simulacra is still really good. Um, crit rate is probably fine because of Ganyu's um, passive talent that increases it by like 15%. So you don't have to worry too much about this crit rate stat. Obviously, 54 is a little low. I'd probably go for 60 um, for crit rate. But because of Ganyu's passive, it, it doesn't matter too much. You get like an extra... 20 to 15 percent i can't remember exactly but yeah it's still not bad by any means and getting off those huge charge shots with that with that amount of crit damage is very very nice almost 280 that you know you know your most irritating thing about this build is is the 0.1 percent that you're missing here to not get it to 280 that is the most irritating thing ever just because of that you lose a, a 0.1 so you're going down to you were at a 9.7 you're going down to a 9.6 because you're missing the 0.1 here <laughs> and that is a really solid gun you moving on Next up, we have a Aurora who wants me to review their Ayaka. Let's see here. Ayaka, 2,000 attack. Wow. Mist Splitter, best in slot weapon, R1. Good stuff. That's why we like to see Mist Splitter, best in slot. Let's go. Two-piece Blizzard, two-piece Glad. Interesting. I also have my Ayaka on this build, so I'm interested to see what your pieces are like. Um, Constellation, one. I think her one is actually really good, so I write that. And double crown, you probably don't need a crown or E, but you can just to do a little flex. But that does bring it down ever so slightly on the rating. Um, your pieces must be nuts then. Because usually when you run two Glad and two Blizzard, that means that you don't need the four Blizzard set. So you must have an absurd amount of crit rate on this on these pieces if you're not running two Blizzard, right? To not run four Blizzard is, is a huge, you know, tank to your Ayaka stack. Because that gives you an extra 40% crit rate. So I'm expecting some big, big pieces. Not to hype you up too much. Though. Artifact details. 54, 110 is really good. That is 220 crit value, which is nuts. So that's actually, I can't dog you too hard here, no matter what the pieces are. But still though, your crit rate's only going to be 54 then, right? Uh, 59. 59, you know, 242, you know, isn't the worst thing in the world. But getting that four Blizzard start would just make it perfect, right? Then you get like an extra 40% crit rate. You goes up to 99, 242, that's nuts. But you might you may just not have the correct blizzard pieces so it, it's not too much to worry about uh let's see your piece that's nuts okay that's better than any crit rate hat on my whole account wow that is um four crit damage rolls right there and not a single into another stat actually you might have got a flat attack roll there but still that is yeah that's a nuts piece god damn man that's probably the best hat on your whole account that is uh <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's fine. You, you're missing crit rate. If, imagine if that attack roll was just subbed out for crit rate. This would be like a near perfect piece. Uh, it's still not bad though. Still not a bad piece. This is a perfect piece. 
This is a perfect example of just a mwah piece. Um, wow. Oh, boy. This is a nice piece. Sheesh. That is three crit rate rolls, one crit damage roll. This is a... Bro, oh my gosh. This is a nice piece. This is a really, really nice piece. God damn. That's a really good piece too. 20, that's almost 30 crit damage roll. Awesome. Overall, your pieces, ex with the, with the uh, exception of this flower, which can be improved a little bit, these are all like 10 out of 10 pieces. This is a near perfect piece. This is, yeah, obviously you're missing crit rate, but other than that, it's almost perfect. This is basically a perfect piece. You can improve this. I, I, this, is, this is a perfect piece. What am I saying? Because you can't, I was thinking you could have attack percent instead of HP percent there. I guess you could have EM, but this is basically a perfect piece. You can't replace this. And then this is also almost irreplaceable. So yeah, your pieces are almost all 10 out of 10. So that's really good. And you have a constellation on her. Plus you have our best in slot weapon. Plus all your talents are almost maxed out. The only thing I could really, you know, reprimand you about is the fact that you don't have like uh, too much crit rate. It's like 60%. Plus you get, I mean, if you're using a, with, you know, another cryo unit, you get the cryo resonance. So that makes it a little better. It takes it up to like 70%. But still, having floor blizzard would help. But then again, you might not even need it with the these amazing stats that you have. Also, just bumping up that energy recharge a little could help tremendously with getting her burst back on cooldown. But overall, this is definitely like a 9.5 out of 10 Ayaka. This is a very, very nice Ayaka. Next up, we're going to review Nope, who is from the Discord server. They are a free-to-play, and we're going to review their Gone You. Let's see here. They have Hamayumi R4. So this is a free... Keep in mind, this is a free-to-play player. So, Hamayumi is completely justifiable here, because you're not going for Ammo's bow if you're free to play, you're not rolling out weapon banners, and unless you get lucky on standard, then Hamayumi or Prototype Crescent are going to be her two best slot weapons. Um, 10 on the uh, charge shot, really, really good. 8 on the E, and 6 on the burst. I don't really understand this, I think it should be the other way around, personally, like 8 on the burst, uh, 6 on the E, but it's fine. Um, you got 2,000 attack, 103 EM, which is a little nice touch, uh, 59 crit rate, um, that's pretty good, obviously, I always like to have just a little more crit rate for Ganyu, um, but it's still not that bad, it's, what am I saying, I forgot, I always forget about the fact that Ganyu's passive is like an extra 20 crit rate, this brings up to 80, yeah, no, that's really good, crit damage 212, um, energy recharge 109, crit damage 46%, you got four wanders, her best in slot, that's what we like to see. Let's look at these pieces. This is a near perfect piece. If this, had, if this was attack percent right here, this little HP percent piece, if this was attack percent, this is a near perfect piece. This piece is again, almost perfect. 13% crit rate, that's three crit rate rules, an attack rule. Um, the flat defense is a, ruins it a little bit, but if this is energy recharge, like damn man, that is a really, these two pieces are very, very nice. Um, you have an offset attack percent piece, which is probably a good choice. If you have an onset cryo one, that's like a good piece. So you got um, 6 crit rate, 21 crit damage. Um, yep, a nice little 30 crit value piece. Nothing to laugh at at all. Um, this piece is, again, is a little niche, but you can't dog it too hard because it is on set. It does. It did roll into flat HP three times. Or is that twice? It might be twice. I think it rolled into flat HP twice, crit rate twice, and then um, that's it. So, it's, again, it's not the best piece in the world, but for being on set, it's not too bad. And then this hat. Oh my gosh. That is... a. Uh, 17% crit rate right there. God damn, man. How do you get a piece like that? That's all high rolls too, almost. That is all almost high rolls. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is a, that is a nuts piece. God damn. Between the flower, the feather, the, almost all these are perfect pieces, except for your uh, sands is a little meh. But again, all these pieces are very, very, very solid. Especially this this hat is the best piece in the bunch, I won't lie. This hat's literally a perfect piece. It might as well be. If this had a top percentage. But overall, um, the, there's really not anything I could can trick you about, honestly. I can't give it a perfect 10 out of 10 or even like above like a 9 because you don't have, you know, the 10, 10. 10, 10, 10 is like a perfect value, right? That's for the, like the perfect characters. The people who idolize those units. Obviously for Ganyu, you don't need it. Because if you're using her as a main TPS, you don't need it. But it still bumps you down just ever so slightly. So I'm going to give this Ganyu a solid 9 out of 10. And I think that will be the end of reviews for today's video. I apologize if you didn't get into this video. But this is going to be a, a continuing going series, I hope. We'll see. So if you didn't get into this episode, don't lose hope. There is always another chance. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.